Welcome to Ken Games. I want to show something in Minecraft that I've been making. Um, you know, you've been probably seeing this place over there, and you know my old fort thing, right? How um, bad it all looks. But I've been making something new. Now, <clears throat> this here is, of course, my new house. I think I showed you that last time, the glass house thing. It's another style here. And yeah. But nothing special in that because I've been doing something else. And now I want to show it. So I'll take the cart and I'll go over there because I've been making a small little town. Now, what you see over there is the block. Well, I'm gonna call it the block at least. <laughs> it's sort of like a, um, how do I say, a house for more people. And it's all symmetry and stuff like that. Okay. Holy shit. They're all outside. But, you know, <laughs> it's sort of like, hey, this guy's home. And he's going home. They got a bed like that and stuff like that. And, you know, it's just, hey, he's in the bed. Hmm. So, moving up and, you know. <coughs> I am, however, going to start designing these, um, well, the interior of it, because right now it doesn't look that nice. It's just uh, stone walls and a bed. But I want carpets and I want, you know, workstations and stuff like that. Maybe a place for water or something like that that runs through it all or something like that. I don't know. And, yeah, that's the top floor. And on the top floor, we can look out here. Yay. Even this place has a nice window. Now, we're moving down. That's like four, four floors and all. <coughs> now... I would love if I could place like you know if I could copy this block here and place it right next to so that you know that entrance is over there somewhere so that you know two blocks next to each other and you know it'd be sort of like a block now, of course, I've been making a small little city in Minecraft 2. Like this house here. That's my next designed house. And, I, you know, I like it. This is actually starting to get pretty. Uh, the roof, you know, I don't know about that, but... Uh, the next thing I'm thinking about is like tile for like the, that shines, so that gives natural light to it instead of the torches. 
I'd like that instead. Were it to be lit like that, and then of course I have my uh, well, new farm place, and of course I have my horse here. And again, this is badly designed. Just one big room, a bed. And again, see that's another thing I've thought about. Making blocks down like that to, to sort of like make light in the room. And then we have the wooden house. Again, a little bit of design over here. There's not much bed here, as you can see. Ah, ah, there is a bed. But compared to how many that's in it, I like it. It's, you know, an oven. There's everything you need right here, except for an anvil, of course. Or, maybe a bookcase but again I could tone down the windows because they don't need to be that long and then make it sort of like a room here that you'd have to enter to sleep hmm. now next house so this may be the small wooden house that I was thinking about again designed with a couple of ender chests bookcase that you know because I found out why make him so huge there's no point in making the big house like that unless you want to have a mine under it or something like that you need some sort of structure to it The house again has everything. It, yeah, it's, I've, I made the corners like these now. I, I like that in a way. It sort of um, adds to it in a way. Well, of course, the big house over here. Again, designed a sofa. It has everything. <laughs> and I thought, yeah, it needs to be in a sort of yellow style. And oh yeah, over the door, there's now a window. I figured that, mm, why not make it three high? Because I can have a small slice window up there, which makes it even prettier. Again, I could tone down the windows, because there's no point in having a third height window up here. I just, you know, that's for the glass house. I'm, I have too much, may, I have too many windows in it, in my opinion. Uh, it's not like you know it just needs to be like too high and the third could be up up high instead to change the sort of height level of it when you go down here of course you have a little well water place um, I'm thinking about now if I could add a sort of like a well make it bigger for, for one thing of course make a tube that goes up and have water come out of it like so that goes down into this that make it more you know that make it prettier but you know, as I said I need to change it a bit around again um, Oh yeah, over here is my water thing, 
And that's another thing I was thinking about. I made it under the house because I could make like a trap door here that just, if you open it, you'd fall into the water. And have a fun thing like that. <laughs> oh yes, over here was mushrooms. And a couple of guys, hay bales, you know. So that there's something around here. There's also, I've, I've uh, purposely uh, planted a few chickens in a way. <laughs> uh, needs to have chickens, I thought, this place. Oh, um, last place. Did I enter this one? I can't remember. I think I did. Oh yeah, around back. Move this way. We got a, a few sheep. Of course there needs to be sheep. I had like a sheep farm at my fort. And mushroom down there. So, that is my new small village. And I might, I, you know, I'm thinking about adding more stuff to it, more houses, another block over there if I could. I'd like, as I said, if I could have a, if there was an add-on to copy that and put it onto the side of it. That would be awesome. Now, oop, getting out of there, closing again. <laughs> so we got, what was that? Did I hear the right? I can't have heard right. It sounded like there was a golem to me. Probably wasn't. Because I've read that if you got like 12 villagers or something like that um, they might spawn a golem a defending golem anyway let's uh, drive back uh, wow no there's always something on the tracks my god now a horse it is the wild. And I've actually managed to find another village on the map. So now I have two villages. But in order to actually get over there, I would have to make a train track that's another 2,000 meters from just this village that I was on before. <laughs> that's like 18, 19,000 from that village that I was on. That I was on. Uh, now that's annoying. So, those, you know, 18, 19 uh, meters, but I have to, have to go, and that's, you know, that's from here to that other village that we're heading towards, saying the V mark. Now, we've already driven some, and that now adds up to 19, but another 2,000 from the original points? Fuck! I don't know. It's a bit long to make that train track. I'd like to have it done. <sighs> I might be able to do it on the ground level, some of it. It would certainly make it faster to make. Uh, t because making that huge structure, which uh, with up in the air and stuff like that, and there's been more scenery, but I do run the risk of having animals on the ground. Animals that can make my train track or train experience go the wrong way. Now that's fucking annoying. Sorry to say. But, yeah. Now look at the V. We still got 1422 to go. <laughs> 
Remember, 2000 from Village, which we were back at. We're not here yet. That's how far, far the train tracks would need to be to get to that place. <laughs> My head's starting to hurt already. Almost halfway there. <laughs> Just another 140 meters. 140 meters. Look at how fast we're going. And we're whizzing by. I know this track here is fucking long. It took me ages to make, but I've had to double this. <laughs> the halfway mark <coughs> halfway <laughs> yeah that feels bad now of course the last thousand meters doesn't feel like the first thousand meters <laughs> but yeah we're, we're heading towards the R mark also, the R, which is the, the church place and the house, the, the Danish house. It would, I don't know, I need to make it sometime, baby, yeah, I just, no, no, can't make it because there's some so much other stuff coming around that I need to be doing. Yeah, I like the two windows high thing. Gah. Just the fourth to go on, on the tracks. I uh, still not. I still, you know, I've gotten a night's sleep, but I'm still one night short of having slept all through. tracks eh and I've not connected not connected my entire village <laughs> with tracks either <laughs> and I should be doing that also and extending that again that'd be awesome make it fit further and further now of course I could take it in small steps like every hundred meter make a house and stuff like that and then connect it, connect it, connect it whoa what the hell well you'll see what that was but it looked like a guy and a cow or something like that or a guy or a rabbit or whatever around a train track thing what? sheep so that's my house that's my little yoga house <laughs> Which of course has a boat. Oh, I should get off here. Yeah. Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. <laughs> I want to go. See, that's the village. Uh, the, the first village I found. These couple of houses. I found like a three house village, as I said, 2,000 meters from the village I was. Now, of course, here. God. What? No. Okay. Well. Okay, so. So here I got a, my boats. And I can take it like a sail trip. And as far as I remember, if I head this way for a bitch long time, there's actually a sunken temple that way. I didn't mark it. 
because there's nothing really in there that I need when you're just in build mode. So, but yeah, let's head back to the, oh God, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Bloop, eggs. Of course, I got a couple of horses here, like the other place, because that's the that's the end track. Here's my yoga place with my yoga mat, and the guy invading my damn house. Get out of here, you mother humper! Get out! Get out! <laughs> Come on! Do not belong in here. This is not your house. It is my house. Move out. Well, if you don't, I should fucking kill him for it. Get out. It's not your house. It's mine. Hmm. Oh, well. Village. From that mark here. Yeah, it's of course a little longer down there. Um... We can teleport to the place, by the way. You, new village, teleport. I'll show you. This is the new village that I found. And over there is the home. Yeah. Now look at the uh, the H part. Three thousand fucking meters. <laughs> of course, I have to clear, make the tracks on the water. It doesn't matter. I can do that. And then that place over there is actually looks freaking awesome. This cave in here, top fucking dollar. Uh, yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing in here, but you know, it just looks sort of awesome. And going up here could be another fucking world on top of you. That like a mountain. You can place a small house here if you want to. Ooh. On the other side. Fuck me. This is fucking awesome. That island there. What the hell is over there? It's just, as you can see, that's a trip. <laughs> uh, yeah, so much land in between. Uh, it's just a smart little part of the world that I've done. <laughs> if I could connect again, as I said, this distance here that I'm doing right now with train tracks. I remember this place. <coughs> Still nine hundred meters. Look at all the place. 
I'd have to go over the, over the train track. Oh yeah. Give me another closer village, please. Sheep. Anyway, um, thank you for watching uh, this episode of Ken Games, and um, yeah, thank you if you've subscribed, and uh, really hope you have a good day. So as I've, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back at the damn village. The Blog H Village. Ooh, yeah. And I should maybe make a house down here or something like that. A small one. And then I need this train track that runs there to go over and inside. And here, as I said, the water. Boom. So, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you if you've subscribed. Um, yeah, have a nice day. Bye!